Hey, warrior fans! So sorry if you've been spamming that reload button all day waiting for the Unknown Flame episode 12. It took a little bit longer than I anticipated making the finishing touches, but I have good news for you. It's uploading, so it should be up shortly after the speed paint. For the last day of Ragged Star, my sister Rachel's gonna be drawing his death scene. Tunnel vision. <laughs> Get it? Because he was killed next to a tunnel. And he also had tunnel vision so bad that he didn't see the monster that his son was becoming. And that led to his death. I'll read this scene to you now. It's on pages 438 through 440 of Yellow Thing's Secret. A cat's voice raised in a well of unbearable anguish. Whipping around, she saw Broken Tail burst into the camp. His fur was bushed out and his eyes were wild and distraught. Wing Clan ambushes by the tunnel, he yelled. Ragged Star's dead! What happened? Yellowfang demanded. They were waiting for us. The deputy's voice shook. He seemed dazed with grief and anger. We fought. Ragged Star led us. And a Wind Clan cat tore out his throat. He shook his head helplessly. I couldn't save him. A and the rest of your patrol? Chasing the Wind Clan cats across the moor. Not waiting to hear any more, Yellowfang raced out of the camp and across the marshes towards the tunnel that led to Wind Clan. The reek of blood caught in her throat before she came within sight of it. At the mouth of the tunnel, Ragged Star lay stretched out. A circle of torn up grass and fern surrounded him, and the ground was soaked with his blood. His eyes were glazed, staring sightlessly up into the sky. Yellowfang lay down beside him and pushed her muzzle into his fur. Until then, she had hoped that he hadn't lost all of his lives, or that her medicine cat skills might have been enough to revive him. Or even that Broken Tail had mistaken the clan leader's losing of a life for a true death. But now, her hope had gone. Ragged Star's wounds were so severe that they had drained all of his lives at once. He hunted with Star Clan now. I loved you so much, she murmured. You were all I ever wanted. We fought and hunted together. We played in the sunlight. What went wrong? How did we ever come to this? Hunt well in Star Clan. She told Ragged Star, drawing her tongue over his fur in a long, caressing lick. I will see you again. Running paw steps alerted her and she looked up to see Blackfoot, Scorchwind, and Boulder racing out of the tunnel. Spotting her with Ragged Star, they halted and stared down with horror growing in their eyes. We fought some of the Wing Clan cats, Boulder mewed hoarsely. We didn't know that Ragged Star was hurt. How can he be dead? Scorchwind whispered, taking a pace forward to look down at the body of his brother. He still had nine lives! A leader can lose all of his lives at once if the wounds are severe enough. Yellowfang told him quietly. Now you must carry his body back to camp. As the patrol gathered around, Broken Tail rushed up, the wild look still in his eyes. Stay away from my father! He ordered. I will carry him. No one else. It's terrible that Broken Star did that to his own father. And just for power. Ragged Star was a good dad. He just let Broken Star get away with too much. Speaking of Broken Star, we're heading into his week now. And I'd love to hear your ideas for possible scenes from his life that you'd like to see during his week of speed paints. So let me know your ideas down below. Well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure to go and check out the video over on the side of my last speed paint. And click that subscribe button so you can always be notified when I make my next video. Alright guys, thank you all so much for tuning in. I'll see you soon with the next speed paint. Bye-bye!